Good morning, my friends. It's Friday. I'm picking it up at the end of the week. We hit our goal by Wednesday for the week. Really, I hit my, my monthly goal. There's only a few weeks left in the month, so was able to hit my goal on that. Um, on that drop, I'll show you here on the charts in just a second. Not gonna lie, um, woke up this morning, looked at the charts, realized there was an inside candle, and straight back to bed. <laughs> so this morning I uh, prioritized sleep over much else, but I mean, markets just barely opened. Let's go look at the charts, um, and I'll give you an update from there. I don't want trading to be a job, right? I say this over again, so don't turn it into a job. If I wake up and it's not anything that I'm like, yes, I'm obsessed with it, slapping me in the face is so obvious, don't trade it. Go enjoy your life. So I'm going to sit in front of the charts here for just a second, give you an update of what we did this week. I'm off to go do a quick little cardio workout, jump on the mic, coaching session, and then we're going to go have some fun. Let's go rip around the McLaren with some errands and then off on a date, spend some time with family. So I'm excited to take you along with me. Let's go look at some charts. All right, my friends, um, if you remember back here, Monday was a holiday, but on Tuesday, we made a plan this week. We're going to wait for a close below this level. That would break this bull trend and it's on. So we did that. We waited. Um, we were able to catch some day trades throughout in here. We won on our credit spread and we won on some swing trades. This move down really just made the month right here for us. So now what are we waiting on? The second part of this plan is then a retest and we're gonna enter some more bear call spreads and some more weekly um, swing trades. So I'm still waiting on that. Will we get that? I don't know. We're making a nice little base here. Um, it looks incredibly good for the bears. I mean, we should have bounced right here the very first day. We smashed through it. We gapped down and then did nothing but go sideways. We are now opening up inside that sideways range and still struggling. So I do believe we're going to bounce. Um, when we kind of get up to this 3940, I'll start legging into a few things. Ideally, I would love like 3970, it would be awesome. I'm not sure we're gonna get quite get that bounce. I'll wait for it, but um, it's looking really good for the bears. This sideways movement is strong. Um, if the bulls are here to play, we would have, first off, we would have bounced right there. Second off, we would have V bottomed and bounced pretty hard right there. And now that we've gone sideways for two days, um, it's looking as though the bears are pretty strong. And there's a reason for that, right? If we jump out here to a daily chart, the bulls had their chance up here. They failed and just gave up the ghost all the way back down into here. So that's why I was even looking to go bearish. We've been loading into puts this entire way up and we are in pretty heavy on puts that are, they're doing pretty okay. Um, they'll be doing a lot okay if we do, if we start to go down the way, I think we're gonna go down. Um, but this is the sentiment I was going off of. Retest, went a little bit higher than we think. That's how the markets always go. Lots of more puts off this trend line. Capitalize on those real quick. Nice, easy movement. And now if we can just get ourselves a little bit of a bounce, get into everything and get ready for another roll back down. So that's our plan. The day I woke up, saw that spy was just an inside candle and was like, I've already hit my goal for the month. I've already hit my goal for this week. Um, I don't need to go out and day trade unless it's just, again, unless I wake up and it's just so obvious that it slaps you in the face. Like, wow, I will put some risk after that. The day looks like it's gonna be more chop and there's a chance that we do break up or break down today. And it's like, that's okay. I don't need to try to catch these moves. Do you wanna be consistent or do you wanna to try to make the most money? I like to go after the highest probability trades. The day, I don't feel like is a super high probability trade. I feel like every time it looks bullish, it's probably gonna sell off. And when it looks bearish, it's probably gonna bounce. I could be dead wrong, I, I don't care. The only thing I do know is that I my rules, my plans, I don't have any real sentiment to tell me who's strong and who's not. I know the bears have been killing it, but they've been it's so far down that we need ourselves to bounce. I mean, look at this hourly chart. We jump over to this hourly chart. Look how oversold we are. A billion hourly candles in a row. We probably bounce, but probably is not strong enough probability that it will. I would much rather be waiting for this break and take that move down. That's a high probability trade. We waited for it. That's how we paid our bills. 
Now don't give all that money back trading the crap just because you're bored, just because you want to trade. You've got to change your mindset, my friends. Um, this is the hardest thing for people to get over is they, they know they can make money in the markets and so they try to make the most money they can. It's not about how much money you can make, it's about how much money can you keep. And most people make decent money, but they give it back and they give way more back because they are trading when they should not be trading. They Are there chances for me to make a million dollars today? Of course. But does that mean I need to go out there and trade it? No, because they're very low probability. You go out there and chase it, the markets will continue to beat you up. If you want consistency, you've got to learn when to press the brake pedal and plan ahead. Where am I going to start getting aggressive? Here and here. All right. There. Here and here. I'll trade. Until then, I wait for my level. Same thing here. When when was I going to trade here? When we break here. All over that. All over that thing. Could I have bought puts up here? Yeah. I don't need to. You don't need to catch this. You don't need to get out here. You just need to get in here and out. That's where we got it. It's right there. But really, get out here. Get in there. Get out here. Repeat this a thousand times a year and you're rich. You don't have to catch the entire move, my friends. Stop trying to be so perfect with it. Stop trying to make all this money and start planning. Don't approach it like you're sitting here trying to make all this money and you're just constantly at it, asking for more and more and more money. Instead, sit back, plan your levels, be patient, be okay missing out, realizing that there's another trade coming and wait. You will get your chances to make really, really good money with a very high probability if you can just wait for your levels, my friends. This is the tip for Friday. Um, normally during this time, I'll be answering your questions that you guys are posting in the comments. Make sure and do that, by the way. For your questions in the comments, trading questions, I'll answer them. I will get to all of them. We'll, we'll set aside time and I'll blow through all the questions and help you out on your journey. That's the whole point of this is help you to finally become that consistent trader help you to realize where you might be going wrong, give you a few tips to help you get there. And most importantly, the mindset of how to make money um, consistently. Because people think once you learn how to trade, you have the skills, now you're gonna make money. You have, you have step one. Step number two now is how do you apply those skills in the most effective manner to give you consistency? Those skills will make you money, but your, your approach to the markets will give all that money back, right? Um, and what I want to do is show you, you have the skills to make money. How do you know how to press the brakes, sit back and wait for your levels, wait for the opportunities to trade, to apply those skills so that you can make consistent money. That's the idea, my friend. So hopefully these vlogs will help you with that and your life a little bit. That's my only goal. I'm off to go work out, do a little cardio, enjoy my day, live the life that trading gives you. It's going to take these tips, take these videos, go get that funded trading account. Keep following RLT. I'll show you how to make money so that you can go live the life that you want to live. I'm out of here. Hey, I'm going to give you a quick little update. Um, We've started to get back to my first buying area. Um, I'll be buying some more up into here, but this is my first leg in. So I just wanted to record this real quick. Um, I have a premier group who I work with again here, RLT. Um, it's all about sharing our trades, right? That's what we do. So um, this is a trade that I'm looking at. I've been planning on since we've been making this drop, right? We always kind of talk about this, right? Break this level and then on a retest, we're looking for a few things. I'm going to wait for it to get up a smidge higher for me to sell a bear call spread, but I'm starting to leg into my swings, right? So I'm in my first leg here. I'm grabbing some more here. I'll grab some more here. And then after that, I'll probably be in. But I don't have to perfectly time it. If this is as high as we go before we drop, then I'm in on something. But it just is a good middle ground, right? So if it does drop without me, then cool. I'm in. I've, I've already been. I'm, I'm still in from a lot of my swings here. Another leg, right? But I like to just kind of not try to be perfect. Don't try to be perfect out there. Just do your best to grab what you can get. Nice, nice move. Good fade back up on today's Friday. Nice move. We're back into this big time resistance. So with the amount of selling that came in here, we expected a nice retrace. This could go up higher. 
But at this point, I'm expecting us to roll down. We take out this spot, and we are going to be home free, my friends. So um, all bull candles in a row, strong breakdown with a great trap. I mean, this is just this is a great setup. Does it win? Doesn't matter. <laughs> the only thing that matters is I control how much I lose and I control how much I win. I can't make the market go up or down. I can just I plan my setup. I take my setup, and whether it wins or not. Out of my control, right? I'm successful when I just simply follow my plan. My plan's gonna allow me to lose small and win big. And the math over 100 trades is what's gonna make me successful. So just wanted to give you a quick little update on what I'm doing, following the plan that we made back on Monday and Tuesday. Waiting for that level to break, came down, we exited out of our puts, made some good money, and so instead of staying in all stuff and giving up gains, we locked it in. We're grabbing some more back into here. We'll see if this will roll over, and if it doesn't, so be it. I know where I'm wrong. I know where I'm going to cut my losses. I know my hedge plan. I know my way to be able to lose small. Play the game, my friends. Play the game. So again, just wanted to give you a quick little update so I could jump on this live with you. Currently right now, we got about 25 minutes for this four-hour candle to close. And see what it's got. Here's the five-minute. We're pushing pretty good. We're hitting some volume in this area. We are overbought, so I'm guessing we're starting to get a little bit of a pullback here soon. But five seconds left for this candle to close. We'll see what it does. All right. That's it. Um, go finish the rest of my workout. And uh, see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Okay. Just finished on the mic. Finished my last little bit of coaching. Have some more coaching in a couple hours. But I am starving. I haven't left this house also the entire week. We've been snowing and raining. And it's just really it's been a lot more rain, I guess, lately. Past few days. But I haven't seen sunlight in like four days. So I'm going to go out and grab some lunch, take you guys alongside with me. Um, successful trading week, followed the plan. We're getting back into our swing trades here according to the plan that we made back on Monday. So we'll see how the charts hold out. I think we're going to be dipping down here pretty soon, but it doesn't matter. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. All right, cold start. And it is cold <laughs> wow. Woo. cold one today no doubt about it off you go grab some lunch get this thing to finish revving up and once the rpms drop then we can go because icy icy cold just happy it started <laughs> All right, so we're out of the house finally. I honestly haven't left the house all week long. It's been completely miserable with weather here in Utah lately. Um, but we're getting some sunshine today, so what a perfect time to get out of the house and go go drive, go explore. This is, this is my happy place, right? Um, as I'm driving and, and just looking around and thinking, <sighs> I get this everywhere I go. You have all this stuff because of your success, because of all your winnings. You must be crushing it in the stock market. And it's like, yes, but no. My my success came from how I dealt with my losers. And that's the biggest difference between me and almost every single person out there trading the stock market. Losers don't have the same effect on me as they do on other people. If you can't accept the loss, if you define yourself because of the loss, then you're never going to make it in the stock market because you're going to lose all the time. You're going to watch me lose all the time. It happens. You lose, right? So you have to learn how to become a really good loser. And that's going to be the biggest difference. It's I am not who I am right now because of my winnings. I am who I am right now because of my failures. My friends, you have to learn how to fail if you want to be successful in the stock market. Too many people look into their into their trades and all these things and they look into their failures and then their losses and they start to freak out okay well i've lost 500 dollars. i've got to make that back i've got to do all these things because if i can just undo that loss then i'll be a profitable successful trader it's like no that's that's not how it works um 
you are a successful trader when you lose small, win big, right? I can't control wins or losses. You've heard me say that a thousand times, but it's that important. I have what I have now because of my losses and how I dealt with my losses. What I went through and what I learned and how I picked myself up and how I had more confidence in myself instead of doubt. Too many people, they take losses and they start to doubt themselves. Don't. Learn from the loss. Understand losing is part of the game. Losing is a part of my plan. Yeah, my plan is to win. My plan is also to lose. I lose in a specific way that sets me up for success. Because you spend all your days, you cannot avoid losing in the stock market. And everyone just does everything they can. They overanalyze, they overtrade, they whatever they can do to avoid a loss is not possible. So stop trying to avoid losses. Stop thinking that losses have some definition on you of who you are, your self-worth, what it means to be successful, um, how smart you are, all this other stuff. Let it go. Off on our way to our date night. Um, Friday, markets are closed. I'm done with trading, take a few days off, and Fridays are our date nights. Allie, 11 years. Okay. She's been married for 11 years. She is my soulmate, my everything. Love you. Love you too. Um, Allie and I have something special in the sense that we truly want to be together all the time. And um, we talked about this a lot, because my previous job, I worked I don't know what, 60 to 80 hours a week, kind of just depending. Yeah. So I was gone all the time. And every second that I was gone, I was calling Allie. <laughs> like, I started my day at like 1 a.m. till anywhere from 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. It just depending on the day. So um, my favorite thing about trading is that I get to be with you all day long, all night. I don't ever have to leave. And that's after 11 years, I think that's pretty amazing, but it's true and it's not fake. It's, we truly love being together. At least, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I love do. it. Okay, good, all right. No, that's- Woo! <laughs> uh, that's one of my favorite things too, is that just the flexibility and that we can go out and do fun things together that we couldn't have done before. Definitely, definitely. Like, we couldn't go on dates because I had to go to bed at like seven o'clock at night to wake back up at one. Yeah. Like we had to really get creative and there were some good times and stuff with the last job as well, but the timing, it was, it ended up being a lot more work than time off. <laughs> yeah. It's just the way it turned out. But I agree with you. That's, that's one of my favorite things is just the freedom that you get through trading. Um, like seriously, if I wasn't, if I wasn't doing coaching or working with RLT or any of the things that I'm doing that I find, I, the cool thing is I get to choose to do it, right? That's my passion. That's what I choose. It's not work. If I chose not to do that, I would work like three, four hours a week. Yeah. Maybe. Like but even the work you do now, yeah. it doesn't even feel like. <laughs> no. Like it's just night and day difference. I yeah. Feel like. yeah. It's just crazy it when you do what you love and you follow your passion and your purpose in life, how like it doesn't ever feel like work. Like even on the other person, like even for me, like I love watching Tony like help enrich lives and just all that RLT and Tony does and just the whole thing. I just, I love the purpose. I love, I just love it all. And it's just, it's just an awesome thing to be a part of. And when you're, when you know what you want to do and when you're walking in your purpose, it's not work. It's true. It's true. I don't, I don't wake up feeling like I have a job or work. Like it's, it's a party every day because for so many years, I wish I could be doing what I'm doing right now. And it wasn't always this easy, right? Like it, it wasn't like, just wake up and trading is great. Like, and it's still one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, even to this day. Um, it was a long road to get here. Allie and I, <laughs> we went through a lot. What was, what would you say was the hardest part about like learning to trade, like trying to trade full time? Um, I think, I don't know. I think there's a lot, like, I think some of it was like the educational side, like not having like the proper education when we first started that we 
should have like if you're a member of rlt like really utilize that like ask questions ask like get coaching like do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're not lost because i think if we could go back that's one thing that i really we would have utilized a lot more i think it's just coaching yeah. and asking questions and you know doing all these things because i think we went through a lot before we started asking the questions it's true like i I wasn't always a member of RLT, then I joined in with RLT, and then um, when I was a part of RLT, I never participated in Slack, I never reached out to anyone for help until I hit rock bottom, I reached out to Jeremy, but I wish I would have taken advantage of the things that were there um, sooner. I, I think my journey would have been a heck of a lot easier. And I think another thing too was just like not, you just kind of had to let go of the control of money, like yes. I know in the beginning, um, I was always like, I could have bought like a car with $5,000. <laughs> like I just attached money to things. And I think just letting go of that was hard, but was so good. Like it's so, it's good for you to just let go of, of what, like, yeah, of just associating money with things. Yeah. A hundred thousand percent agree. I. I think that for me, that was one of the hardest things. I was basing my ego off of whether or not I was successful or not. And that was a hard thing. I had to finally learn how to just let go of my ego and let go of money. I wasn't abundant at all with money. I didn't believe like money could come to me. And so because I had this belief that money was really hard to get, I was really controlling when I went to let it go. Whereas if you flip that and money, you believe money is easy to easy to receive, then it's easier to let it go because it's not like, man, I had to work 70 hours of my life to make this much money, right? It, it led to me having this like scarcity mentality with it where it's hard to get, which is hard to let go of. And so that was really tough for me to, to experience starting out. It's tough for both of us. You had to grow just as much as me. It's not like we just did this journey like, hey, Ali, I'm going to trade and I just did all this stuff and you stayed the same. Like we both went through the trials we both went through all those things together yeah. and without us both being willing to at least grow and adapt then it wouldn't have worked it tends to separate unless you guys are both devoted whoever your partner is you're both devoted to walking this journey of growth both okay to leave your comfort zones it tends to divide more than unify but for us it was definitely a unifying thing because we both agreed to go out and do hard things and get out of our comfort zone so it made it much better. So, yeah. um, let's go on a date. I mean, I, I, anytime I can take this gorgeous girl out on a date, <sighs> dang, I love you. dang, me too. I got to just make her smile every day. I like talking about marrying up, man. I hit the <laughs> jackpot, hit the That's jackpot. Great. So did I. Oh, thanks, Pooh. Love you so <laughs> much. Let's go on a date. I'll catch you guys a little bit later tonight. All right, that's a wrap. Topped it off with some ice cream and everything. <laughs> it was an awesome date night. Really, really fun to get out of the house for just a second. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It, this is my life. It's a little awkward for me to open up. Um, it'll get better, I promise. <laughs> I'll come up with, with some better things to show you. Hopefully my life will, I'll try to make it just a little bit more interesting, but this really is truly what it is, right? This is, uh, this is me. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took something away from, from this video and you are a better trader because of it. Uh, that is my goal and when, when all is said and done. So if anything, hopefully you grabbed a little bit more that can help you on your journey to trading full time, trading successfully and hitting your goals. I'm excited to jump in for next week, so be sure to tune in. Um, leave a question, a trading question in the comments below to have a chance to win $50,000. We'll be doing that drawing here very, very soon. Um, so that's coming. Again, thank you so much for hanging out. Remember, you are not a failure because of your past, but if you don't learn from it, you will fail. Love you guys, I'll see you next week.